For today's adventure, we're heading to the green pastures of downtown Vancouver, where we're investigating the secret local history of Hollywood superstar Boris Karloff and his unlikely connection to another local celebrity who I'll tell you about in a few minutes. Some remember Boris Karloff best as the narrator in the classic 1966 animated special How the Grinch Stole Christmas. He is also the most iconic actor in classic Hollywood horror movies. He played the monster in 1931's Frankenstein, 1935's Bride of Frankenstein, and 1939's Son of Frankenstein. Known to his friends as a kind and warm-hearted man, Mr. Karloff has two stars on Hollywood's Walk of Fame for his contributions to film and television. But before he became a Hollywood superstar, he was born William Henry Pratt in England in 1887. He followed his family's expected path until he abruptly left university in 1909. In a surprise to everyone, he traveled to Canada and became a drifter. After working on a farm in Ontario, he traveled west to Vancouver. The details of his time here are very faint, but we do have a few clues. If we check the 1910 listings, we find him under William H. Pratt, living at the Hornby Mansions. And the Hornby Mansions was an apartment building located right here on, you guessed it, Hornby Street. Sadly, the building is gone, and after an extensive search, I couldn't find any pictures of it. Fortunately, though, there is another building just a few blocks away that is important in William's time here. William had many jobs in Vancouver. He cleared land, shoveled coal, laid streetcar tracks, all kinds of things. And the 1910 listings showed that William was a real estate agent for Ward, Burmester and Von Gravenitz. And their office was in this building on West Pender Street, built in 1908. Young William would have gone to work right in there. While he worked here, he apparently intended to buy some land in the district of Caribou, as we see in this legal notice. I couldn't find any evidence, though, that the sale actually went through. While he worked as a real estate agent, he fell in love with Grace Harding. And thanks to the BC archives, we have a record of their wedding on February 23rd, 1910. 22-year-old William married 24-year-old Grace here at the Holy Rosary Cathedral, corner of Richards and Dunsmuir, built in 1899. Reverend Anthony Madden conducted the ceremony. She didn't know it then, but sweet Grace had become the very first bride of Frankenstein. Thanks to the very nice people here at the cathedral, we're getting exclusive access to see inside this beautiful building today. After he was married, William left for Kamloops, B.C. in 1911, where he joined the Jeannie Russell Theatre Group. He joked that Pratt might not be a good name for an actor, what with Pratt Falls and the like. So he changed his name to Boris Karloff. Sadly, his marriage to Sweet Grace ended after a few years. She would remarry and move to Calgary. Boris eventually moved to Hollywood, became a superstar, and married several more times. He passed away in 1969 at the age of 81. His remains are interred in England. And now about that unlikely celebrity connection I mentioned earlier. Vancouver is blessed with one more beautiful bride of Frankenstein. Built in 1905, this is St. Paul's Anglican Church on Jervis Street. Vancouverite Peggy Middleton sang in the choir here. She later moved to Hollywood, changed her name to Yvonne DiCarlo, and became a superstar. She is our second beloved Bride of Frankenstein because she played Lily on the hit TV show The Monsters, in which she was married to Herman, who was, you guessed it, a Frankenstein monster. His likeness was based on Boris Karloff's version. Although Boris Karloff left Vancouver 110 years ago, you can still see reminders of his legacy around town here, especially during Halloween. Shoutouts today to Cecilia Hines, Jay Harder, Abby Sullivan, Ann Caulfield, Barry Lineback, Brenda McDonald, Wade Bach, Wendy McRitchie, and Sherry Hunt Todd. Thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of old Vancouver as she once was. Please click the subscribe button. Special thanks to Greg Nesteroff, Bruce Morgan, and the gracious staff at Holy Rosary Cathedral. Until next time, be good to the other.